Welcome to our program on Kardec Radio. Welcome, dear friends. Welcome to Kardec Radio. We are here together one more day in this live program to join forces with the Legion of Mother Mary at 6 p.m., with the doctors and nurses, all the good spiritual and mentors of the Spirit Society of Virginia, Kardec Radio, our mentors. We always like to join forces to pray for the whole humanity, our planet, our loved ones, and to ourselves. So let us prepare ourselves for this special moment that we have in connection with the uh, spiritual realm and all the good spirits that comes and help us. Bring your water and breathe in and out and close your eyes. And physically, let us connect our mind, physical body, and align our thoughts with this divine flow of love. Let us join in so we can better understand the teachings that the chapter of today is bringing to us. Let us open our hearts, our mind, our ears, so that we can clearly understand and start putting practice what we are learning today together with the good spirits, with our dear Mother Mary. We are so thankful for the opportunity of being together among friends, among good spirits, so that we can connect with our Creator, with the spiritual realm. We know life is busy and chaotic, but we have this time to align ourselves with the divinity, with the divine in us. And for that, we are very thankful. And with the permission of Mother Mary, Master Jesus, our doctors and nurses present, we would like to open this therapeutic moment of prayer of today. And so be it. So dear friends, it's good to connect, it's good to stop. Hello Narciso, hello everybody. It's good for us to take this deep breath so we can come and be focused that we are connecting with the other world. And today we're going to read a chapter from The Way, The Truth, and The Life. And the chapter is 102, The Christian and the World. This is for us, right? We are Christian and we are in the world. We are still learning, right, how to become Christian because Master Jesus is our guide and model and we need to be following him and doing exactly what he does or is to do so we can be a true Christian. So we are still working on it. But let us read together the chapter from The Way, The Truth, and The Life. So chapter 102, the Christian and the world. First, the stalk, then the head, then the full grain in the head. Jesus, Mark 
or 28. No one finds easy to grow spiritually. The master wisely resorts to living symbols from nature to facilitate our understanding of it. The stalk is far from being the head, just as the head is far from being fully uh, repent grain. In the regards, in this regard, the strongest opponent from the soul that wants to follow the Savior is the world itself. As long as ordinary people people rest on the commonality and brutality of the earthly life, nobody pays attention to them. Their attitudes are of no interest to anyone. However, they may be, however they may be, uh, whoever they may be. However, the moment the tender stalk of the rectifying faith first surface in their heart, their life becomes an object of interest to everyone. Thousands of eyes that did not see did not see them when they were astray and ignorant and indifferent, now follow their smaller gesture with the highest alertness. Humble aspirants to the title, disciple of the Lord, are still only stalks with promise, yet people already expect the heads of heavenly deeds. They are still a long way from pro processing even the first growth of down on their spiritual wings. Yet, people expect them to demonstrate lofty fights over human miseries. Consequently, many new believers get scourge and return to obscurity where others cannot see them. The word forgets that these eager souls are still in their early hopes and are thus in a fierce in a fierce struggle to burst through the shell of the lower of the lower passions in their longing to grow. Because of their ignorance, people only understand others in their animal-like state. But if any of them try to grow spiritually, then people suddenly expect the positive credential of heaven, forgetting that no one can full time or deceive the, sec the sequency of nature. It is left to Christians to cultivate their sublime purposes and heed the master's world. First, the stalk, then the head, then the full grain in the head. So friends, here it is, a little of the teachings of the master once again helping us, right? And when we read those chapters, when we read those books, Master Jesus is giving us the direction and the pathways, right, for us to go through. And always encouraging us, teaching us, and telling us that we are not alone. We are going through this process, and we are always surrounded by good spirits, by our guardian angels, by the Master itself right? We have all this spiritual book here, helping, helping us to progress, right? And it's very interesting that Master Jesus has already started the first phrase of this chapter saying, no one finds it's easy to grow spiritually. And we know how hard it is, right? To change who we are, the vices that we have, everything that we do for millennia 
Now, when we wake up or when we start to open our eyes for a little, we see how difficult it is to change, right? There's many examples in our lives. Things that we do from waking up to going to bed, we have routines. And if we break that routine, for many people, this is not good. But this is what we are being called, right? To change, to learn something new daily. And it's not easy. So we need to get out of our comfort zone. So the master wisely resorts the living symbol from the nature to facilitate our understanding because we still don't have the vocabulary. We still don't understand all the teachings from the master, but he lovingly bring simple examples from nature to help us, right? So if we're only the stalk, this little seed, right? We had this little seed in our hearts trying to grow the seed of love, right? We need to go to the stalk, then the head, then the fully blossoming. So there are steps that we need to go through. And we cannot keep or have a shortcut to go to the, to the final point, right? We need to go slowly, baby step, progressing to get there. And Master Jesus bring here and tell us, and we can see, right? We can see in this world, as long as ordinary people rest in the commonality and brutality of earthly life, nobody pays attention to them. So if we're doing what everybody's doing, we're not changing anything, right? Following, following the flow, doing what everybody asks us to do, we're not changing, we're not showing the Christian example, everything is fine, right? But if we start to applying the teachings, if we start to being different, starting to think, right? And act different than the ordinary people, everyone looks at, at us, right? And this book is, is already telling us to that. So, However, the moment the tender stock of rectifying faith first surfaces in their heart, their life becomes an object of interest to everyone. Then everyone wants to know what are we doing? Why are we different? Why do we think about before we answer? Why uh, we choose not to mingle in this pandemic? why we choose to follow the rules that are told us to follow, why we choose to follow Master Jesus with his example and not only being like a symbol or uh, a parade or we're just following rituals. Instead of that, we are trying to put in practice everything that Master Jesus is, is teaching us. So when we make this change, all eyes on us, right? Everybody's watching. Thousands of eyes that did not see them when they were astray and ignorant and indifferent, but now follow their smaller gesture with the highest alerts. So then people watch us because they want to learn and they want to learn and see, right? But we are still just sprouting a little bit. So they want to see the biggest example. That's why we always say, don't look at us, right? We are just parrots. We're just saying what Jesus taught us. We're just announcing again and reading. That's why we read from books. So it can help us and guide us because we're all together in this journey to make this transformation. So we share the teachings that Master Jesus gave to us. So we are just humble disciples of the Lord, trying to grow, trying to progress. And if everybody looking at is looking at us and seeing when we're going to make a mistake, where we are making the mistake, right? 
many of them get discouraged because they are projecting all this good, all this perfection into us. In, and this is a mistake because the only guide and model that we have here on planet Earth is our Master Jesus. We are all progressing. Some people more than others. Some people already have the, the insight, this turnaround, this self-knowledge in which they can deeply make this connection with the divine in them and progress faster already in this reincarnation. But majority of, of us, we are on step one. And so we need to be patient to everyone because we are all progressing together. So don't be discouraged by looking at someone, right? Someone that you respect in, in a church, in a center, wherever they may be, if they make a mistake. Because we are all growing together. Of course, we're going to fall. We're going to make mistakes. But we have the master. We have Jesus. That is the one, the example that we need to follow. So the word forgets that these eager souls are still in their early hopes and are thus in fierce struggle to burst through the shelf of the lower passion in their longing growth. So we still have to recover, to re get rid of all this passion, get rid of the vice, all this stuff that we had in us. So this is what the the chapter is bringing to us. But if any of them try to grow spiritual, then people suddenly expect the positive credential of heaven, forgetting that no one can full time or deceive the sequence of nature. So that is time. So the time now is for us to learn about Master Jesus, learn about the spiritual realm, and put in practice, practice as much as we can so we can do this leap, grow and progress faster so we can be happier, right? That's the goal. We want to be happy. That's why the planet Earth is going through the transition through a, from a planet of try and expiation to a planet of regeneration and then to a happy world, right? So even the whole planet is going to this phase. We are all progressing together. So it's left to Christians to cultivate their sublime purposes and read the master's world. So we need to show and little by little be patient to one another and show this Christianity in us. And for that, we need to put in practice the gospel, all these teachings that we receive from Master Jesus. So let us meditate in the Master. Let us meditate how he behave in situation and always make that question, what would Jesus do before we make any decisions in our life, right? And daily, we are presented with opportunities to grow. We are presented with a family member, friends, co-workers. We are always being present, chances, opportunities for us to be Christians. So, and through the pandemic now, we are being called nonstop to be the Christian example on earth, right? So Master Jesus count on us as we accept to be his disciple on the planet. He's counting and encouraging us and being with us, holding our hands throughout our life so we can succeed and progress. And with that, let us bring our water, close our eyes, and receive the blessings because he's always giving love and blessings to us, right? We come here consciously to receive, but if you really think about it, we are always receiving this blessing. There is no stop. We are always being loved and cared for. It. 
So let us close our eyes, dear friends. Breathing in and out. Feeling the loving vibration. That our dear Mother Mary brings with her. We can feel her love energies enveloping us as our physical mother embraces in her arms. We feel this hug from Mother Mary from the spiritual realm. It feels cozy. It feels good to be embraced by this loving mother that cares and helps us daily. And with her help, we move forward to the light and let us visualize ourselves in this beautiful lavender field, walking together with her. And in the top of the mountain, we see a bright light. And as we follow her in this journey to the light, many of our pains and sorrows are left behind. Everything that we are worried is being left behind. We see lots of dark energies and points falling and being dissolving, recycling on the grounds. And as we do that, leave empty all the concerns or the heaviness that we have been carried throughout the day, we can start feel ourselves fluctuating above the ground and travel with Mother Mary faster to the light. And as we come closer, we can see Master Jesus waiting for us. And we meet with the Master. And now, this warm energy that comes straight to our hearts, expanding from inside out, renew our energies, and we feel one with Him. Spiritual body, physical body, per spirit are being all connected with the master. And we feel his love flowing through us. And Master Jesus is giving to us all the remedies all the energies that we need 
so that we can continue this reincarnation, co-creating and loving one another. And as we are all together, we can see the whole planet being illuminated and enveloped with the energy of his loving heart. The whole planet is being healed. Everyone and everything is being enveloped in this loving healing energy. And all the other planets are receiving the emanation of his love. And as we continue feeling this loving vibration from our master towards us and the planet, in gratitude, we say thank you for this special moment connecting with the higher realms. It feels good to be here, to connect with the Master, with our Mother Mary, with all the doctors and nurses that were here helping in this process of healing, of treatment of our soul and our physical body. And as we received, we may, if we may ask for all the good spirits, doctors and nurses, to travel to hospitals around the planet to help and heal all our brothers and sisters that are hospitalized in need of care in both realms. We pray for all of them and their families. We pray for the doctors and nurses of the physical realm that are in need of strength, love and renewed energy to continue the works throughout this pandemic and throughout the needs that all our brothers and sisters are in need. If we may ask, dear Father, we would like to pray and ask for protection to all our brothers and sisters that are abandoned on the streets, abandoned in their houses, abandoned by everyone that cannot see them as a brother and sister. We pray that your love and care can embrace and give them strength and courage to change. Dear Father, we would like to pray for all families, special parents with the great mission of educating the new generation for this planet of regeneration. May they all feel your company and your strength next to them and that they can teach about you so that this, that this new generation can be Christian from the beginning and teach the whole planet a new lesson, how to love and care for one another. And dear Father, you know everyone by name, by heart, May you granted their prayers if that was what is best for each one of them, because you know everything. 
So we put in your hands the prayers of our brothers and sisters in need. And we trust you that will help everyone as much as it can. And dear father, dear mentors, Mother Mary, doctors and nurses, thank you so much for being here with us daily, helping and guiding us, giving us the strength that is necessary for us to continue with joy in our hearts this journey and this reincarnation. And with the permission of the mentors, with permission of Mother Mary and Master Jesus, we would like to close these prayerful moments of today. And so be it. So dear friends, I hope you felt the love and the joy in your hearts. Please drink your water and meditate on the teachings of the Master. Let us hold on to his hands, Mother Mary's hands, and march forward to become better Christians every day. Remember, we are never alone, and even God sent his son here to help us to go through life. So we have the manual, we have the instructions in which if we study, we'll be able to go through life easily. And don't forget to look for programs, to look for new things on kardecradio.com, on our websites, on Kardec Radio, on, on the app for the radio. Parents, if you need help, there is the Parents app. And Kardec Radio is on 24-7. And don't forget, the center is always open, right? Now the center is our house, and we are connect every week, right? If you look, we are connecting every week live on Fridays at 7 p.m. to nourishing our soul even more. So the center is open and never closed. We are always working and helping wherever is needed. So, dear friends, may God bless you all. And until next time, bye, friends. <music>